So after solving the uh, the shell part, now we've got to put in these little corner triangles um, in the center. And the problem is, unlike with a circle cube, it already got solved for you, but not so lucky here because this messed things up by moving these around. So the basic technique is, because it was the white side that was tidally locked, that caused you to get it screwed up to begin with, this is the side that we're going to be using in order to get everything back. So the technique with this is going to be a three-piece um, rotational algorithm that basically rotates three pieces together while maintaining the rest of the structure. The whole key to this, it is a new algorithm, but the whole key to this is the setup before the algorithm and then getting it back after the algorithm. And what this is going to be doing is it's going to be taking these top pieces here and putting them into one of the two positions here. So there's one algorithm that you need to know, but it has two permutations, a right side and a left side. And what the right permutation is going to do is it's going to take this top square over here and put it into here. Then what you're going to do is once you put this into here, you now have to put something back over here to get it back. So you're going to make use of these guys. So you're going to do your algorithm, which will put this over here. Then you have to do a D maneuver, and you can either do you can do a D, you can do a D prime, you can do a D2. It doesn't matter, but basically when you put it in, you're going to move it back. This is going to rotate to here, and then you're going to move it back. So the overall effect is this is going to come down here, this is going to come over here, and this is going to come up here. So it's going to rotate these around. On the left side, just the opposite. This will come here, this will come here, this will come here. And the thing that we mainly focus on is just building these centers over here. The algorithm to do that, and we'll just demonstrate since this is in position, I'm going to want to move this red into here. So this is going to be the algorithm with the right permutation. And there's no setup that needs to be done with this. So that algorithm is going to be R, UI, RI, F, RI, FI, R. So you can see we brought it here. We then have a choice to do any of these D configurations. It could be any one. It could be D prime, it could be D, it could be 2D. For the sake of convenience, we're just going to do D. And then you swing it back to bring this over here by doing the next part of the algorithm, which is RI, F, R, F, I, R, U, and then R, I. And then you have to be sure to move it back where it was. So you can see the overall effect is we moved this to here, this to here, and this to here. So we've got this in place. So looking at the left permutation, you don't really need to memorize another one so much. Just bear in mind that you do exactly the opposite. Just transpose it. So we'll do an example of that. Now to set up for the algorithm, sometimes if I want to move this in here, you have to actually move this around like this, which means that I did this movement to set it up, I'll do the algorithm, and then I have to remember to take it back. So the challenge of this and the strategy of this is basically to make sure that you remember what you did and you didn't do too many complex moves so that you can move it back. And that's why I never know how this is going to work out and sometimes you get screwed up. But I'm going to do a 2U over here to move this into position to do the left permutation. And the left permutation, which I'll also include in the notes, is going to be L-I-U-L, F-I-L-F, and then swinging them back with an L-I. So you can see this is in place, and now we do some kind of a D, as long as it puts it into here. So here's a D that we can use. We can use this one too. Doesn't matter. I'm just going to use, I'm just going to do a D. Remembering to move it back when we're done. Then we do the second part of the algorithm, which is just a transposition of the first part. And that's going to be L, F, I, L, I, F, L, I, U, I, and then L. And then swing this back to your, to your D um, to your D prime, and then remember we swung this, we did a 2U to begin with, so I'm going to do a 2U back, and that fills that in here. And that's basically all you do. The whole key to this is in the setup. The setup 
before and after. So let's say I wanted to start filling these in here. So just by demonstration, I'm going to want to do some motions to put this into place. So I'm going to put this yellow here, and I'm just going to move this up here to put this here to do a left permutation. And we're going to be able to substitute it with a cube that doesn't belong, and yeah, here. Now just to reiterate, as you're getting further and further into this, what you want to be sure is that you've got a cube to act as kind of, of a sacrificial lamb to substitute to bring back up here. If you don't have a cube, if all these are filled in, then what you can do is just move a white one down to perform that function. Because then you're just filling the white side in. That will become more apparent as we do it. So I'm going to move this here, do a U, then I'm going to move this up here, do an L. Now I have to remember that when I get it back to find my way home. So we're going to do a left permutation, which is going to be L I U L, and then F I L F, and then swing it on back with an L I. So this is where it needs to be, and now I'm just going to substitute it with this. So I did a D, then I'm going to do an L. F I L I, F L I U I, and bring it on down to an L. And I have to remember to move the D, you know, move it back in a D prime. And now it's a matter of just finding my way home. I believe I did this, and usually it's pretty apparent what you have to do. Whoop. So I filled one into here. By another example, I want to fill in the bottom layer. I'm going to be using this. I can't move it up here because I need it to be on the bottom, so I'm going to turn it around. Now there's one here that I can use too. So I'm going to move this up here, move this here. So same thing, it's going to be an L permutation, and I'm going to put this one in place here, so that, that works just fine. So once again, L-I-U-L, F-I-L-F, and then L-I, so there it is. Move this into place with a D, that to swing it back, L, F-I-L-I, and then F, L I U I, and swing it on back down with an L, and move this back. And then find my way back home. It should be pretty easy to figure out. This goes here, this goes here. So now we just have one more to go. Up, and this will move here. So that's going to be easy for me to figure out. L I U L, F I L F. L I, there it is. And so now it doesn't matter. I can do any of the D combinations. I'll just move it here with a D since that's how we remember it. Then it's going to be L, um, F I L I, F L I U I. Bring it back down to an L, move this back, and find my way back home. I, you can see that the bottom is solved. So this makes it fun, makes it challenging. Uh, because it takes not just algorithms, but strategies. So what I'm going to try to do also is I want to save these bottom layers because it's kind of easy to fill that in. And I'm just going to try to fill in these top layers as much as possible. Obviously the orange one is ripe for the picking, so I just go like this and I can fill an orange one in here. Another left permutation to be replaced by a white. So that's perfect. It'll substitute it up here. So once again, L-I-U-L. F I L F L I bring this in here. Then we have L F I L I F L I U I bring it down to finish it with a L and be sure to move the D back to where I put it. And this this goes back. So that filled that filled that in or whatever the heck it was I was filling in. Uh, and I replaced it with a white. So what about here? Well, here we can do a right permutation and replace it with a yellow. No whites to replace it with. So with the right permutation of this algorithm, it's going to be R, U, I, R, I, F, R, I, F, I, and R. So there it is here. Swing this back over so that this can be replaced back up. And that's going to be R, I, Hmm. R I, don't get lost. Um, F R, F I R U, and bring it back down for a R I, and this goes back. So that's that's filled in. 